Hello, Masaka Universe. Iceland? Yes, Island. I, when I looked at the jerseys that I could wear for today's video, it was pretty quick that I'm gonna wear this one. Um, since the other nations, I was not all too proud of the other nations winning. And yes, uh, it's a nice jersey that I haven't worn, I think, officially in a video yet. So I'm more than happy to wear this one. It's it's absolute beauty, I have to say. Let's get started. We had only three qualification groups, A, B and H. And actually the biggest result was the one that occurred first with Kosovo beating the Czechs 2-1 in Pristina. Czechs taking a well-taken goal by Schick uh, to make it 1-0, but Kosovo Im almost immediately equalized and then in the end uh, gets a deserved win, uh, putting the Czechs in a little bit of trouble. And then the later game was England against Bulgaria, where, yes, you know, uh, poor Bulgaria. I didn't expect much. I, I would have watched the game if we wouldn't have been away. Uh, so I basically only saw the last five minutes and saw the final scoreline. Uh, from the highlights I could see Bulgaria was in it, but shot themselves in the foot, especially uh, on the first goal. Uh, what the goalkeeper was doing, I mean, the English high pressing, uh, they try to pass the ball around the box and he immediately puts it to Sterling who crosses to Kane, makes it 1-0. Um, second half again. So whenever Bulgaria tried to get some, some, something going, England came, as a foul in the box, Kane takes the penalty, makes it 2-0, Sterling shortly after makes it 3-0 and then Kane trips over himself and holds his leg. I think Kane is becoming a diver. He really is becoming a diver. This is now the third game in a row that he is playing. Doesn't look good for him. I mean, his reputation is going down the drain, I would say. He takes a penalty, makes it 4-0. A score that might be too high um, because Bulgaria was playing nicely, but you know, England is ruthless, and so what can you do? It ends 4-0 for England. Honestly, if you would have asked me before the game what the scoreline would be, I probably would have said some, some, something like that because uh, although Bulgaria played really nicely a year ago, they completely hit the skids uh, as of late and uh, it doesn't look good in the group. We have England now leading three out of three, nine points. I think England is well on their way. Kosovo now in second place. That might be a sensation if they could qualify. Uh, with eight points, the Czech six. Uh, Montenegro has only two points and Bulgaria also only two points, but more Bulgaria has the most uh, games played. So the group is kind of, you always have the feeling it's England and then the rest is kind of on a level um, field, but Montenegro, Bulgaria have some trouble. Uh, let's go to Group B, um, where Lithuania lost at home to Ukraine 3-0, a result that could have been much higher. I mean, Ukraine had a very quick 2-0 lead and then more or less wasted chances, made it 3-0. The uh, 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 second and third goal of Ukraine were nicely taken. Uh, I think only at the end Lithuania had a slight chance to uh, make something, but Ukraine seems to be uh, well on their way to um, the Euros next year. And then it's between Serbia and Portugal. Serbia has a, a playoff spot, but uh, in the group they were kind of in dire race. You know, they lost at uh, Ukraine uh, and kind of badly 5-0. So they needed a result in Portugal also with having only two draws to start the campaign. Yes, the draws were against Ukraine and Serbia, but they were all at home. So uh, they needed something. And that was a game that I was watching. And it was kind of uh, pretty dense. Serbia really hung back with eight, nine people defending close to the box, giving Portugal not much space. And that was basically the story of the first uh, 25, 30 minutes when uh, Serbia really was nicely bunkered in and Portugal didn't have really the uh, ideas to break down this wall. But it was then when Serbia um, kind of launched a few and quite dangerous attacks uh, that the game opened up. And I think Kostic uh, had a weird one. I, it was not a cross, it was not a shot, but it almost could have made it into, into goal. And then uh, it was a miscommunication between the goalkeeper and the defender uh, that the ball fell at the feet of William Cavallo and it is 1-0 Portugal right before the half. Uh, it was not pretty to watch, but it was very, very interesting, I would say. Second half starts out with Gedesh and a moment of brilliance on his part. Making it 2-0 and you thought, oh, done and dusted. No, Serbia comes back, corner kick and header. 
uh, into the net. Free header. I mean, uh, I think the guy came just on and it was really a nice header to make it 2-1. Uh, and at that point, Serbia came a knocking, at least slightly. But what can you do? If you have Ronaldo, who was offside, but he, the idiot, makes it. Uh, 3-1 and you think, yeah, game done and dusted. Nah, not quite yet. Mitrovic with a, cr a crazy, uh, brutal effort almost, I have to say, uh, makes it 3-2. So yes, do we have a chance? The Serbians had, uh, most of the spectators had already left by the time. But a minute later, uh, it's Bernardo Silva in the 86th who uh, makes it 4-2. So I was actually quite happy. I chose another 4-2 game, 6 goals. In a game that for a long time I thought this will be a defensive struggle, but it was not to be. So, 4-2. Uh, uh, Milenkovic, Mitrovic were the uh, scorers for Serbia. Uh, so, in that group, Ukraine now 13 points uh, way ahead. But, you know, Portugal has two games less. So, let's add six points and they add 11. And they're also well uh, in the running. Luxembourg has four that didn't play. Serbia has now only four for Serbia. It might be tough. And they... Have to probably rely on the playoffs. Lithuania is out of it. And then we go to Group H, um, where the early game was Iceland against Moldova. Iceland very convincingly beating them uh, 3 0. Um, I think Moldova barely had a chance in that one. Uh, goals came through Sigthorsen uh, in the 31st, Bjarnas in the 55th, and Bordvarsen in the 77th. So Iceland. Gets finally another win. Well, finally another win. They have already four wins, as I see here. Uh, still stupid me. I have all, all, all sorts of feelings. I, Iceland is not that well, but they are not. They beat Turkey. I remember now. So Iceland is uh, also well on their way. Um, then Turkey got a really scrappy win against Andorra in the last minute. I mean, the ball just didn't want to go in. There were crazy chances where um, after free kick, it seems like four Turks are offside, but they are not. Uh, and then they want to lob it in a last minute and Doran defender scrapes it off the line and hits himself on the post as well. It's Tufan who gets a winner in the 88th minute. Uh, that was basically a really, really close call for Turkey. And the most interesting part of France-Albania was the scandal in at first when... Uh, not the Albanian, but the Andorran anthem was played. Uh, Albanians, you could clearly see they were... <laughs> and I had it on on a second screen. I saw that there was some scuffle. And then when I realized... I didn't have it on sound. I realized then when they played again, okay, they must have messed up something with the anthem. Uh, but you could see, I rewatched it this morning, that the Albanian players... What's happening here? This is not our anthem. And then lots of discussions. It did not escalate. I have to say that because I think the ref had a good uh, grip on it. Uh, but it's it's pretty embarrassing for France. Uh, the performance for France was not embarrassing. I mean, um, Coman quickly made it 1-0. Um, Giroud after a really nice move, uh, 2. Uh, then they got a penalty uh, that Griezmann pulled against the bar. I didn't go in. Griezmann was also denied by Skrash Kosha uh, early in the second half, but then again, Coman in the 68th and Ikone in the 85th made 4 nil. But there was a penalty. Uh, that the goalkeeper, what's his name? Um, quickly, Leo I should know the captain of France. Um, put down uh, Vayner defender in the box, and Sikaleshi in the 90th makes it 4 1. Nice scoreline. If you look now at the table, France uh, 12, Turkey 12, Iceland 12. It's a very open group. I still. I, I actually favor France and Iceland, but you know, Turkey is in there. Albania, I think, is out of it. Uh, Moldova and Andorra, I think, don't have any chance. But this is a very, very interesting and open group. Now, as for today's games, I, th I said today to my wife, she asked me, what games are today? And I said, well, maybe Finland, Italy. It might be a good time for me to watch, actually, some NFL. I mean, I'm an NFL fan, too, and it's always hard to. But if I look at the program... It's almost all foregone conclusions. Georgia, Denmark, Switzerland, Gibraltar, Romania, Malta. I would only expect wins for the favorites there. Spain, Faroe Islands, nothing. Sweden, Norway is maybe the only other game that could be interesting. Maybe I'll have to see. Armenia, Bosnia, I would nothing expect. But Bosnian win and Greece, Liechtenstein, same thing. Uh, I think Finland, Italy, I would expect an Italian win. And Sweden, Norway, yeah, there might be something. But it's in Sweden, so I don't expect much. So... 
I will put one game, probably Finland, Italy on second screen and uh, watch some NFL. I know this is not good to say, especially for this channel, but you know, football is back, so I want to watch that one too and we'll watch, I'll surely watch more soccer tomorrow. Anyway, let me know what you thought about yesterday's games and whether you watch any games today or you like me, watch something else or enjoy your evening. Uh, other, otherwise, uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, consider subscribing to my channel to keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day. Bye!